Okay, last set of notes is going to be about the development of the heart and heart disease. It's by no mean, means inclusive of every kind of heart disease, but just some of the major ones. Okay, so one of the um, biggest types of uh, heart disease is what's called congestive heart failure, also called CHF. Um, it's caused by coronary atherosclerosis, which is a hardening of the arteries of the heart, persistent high blood pressure that wears out the walls of the heart or the muscle, multiple myocardial infarctions, which are called heart attacks, and it could be minor ones, and dilated cardiomyopathy, which is the enlargement of the heart. So you can see in a healthy heart and a congested heart. So you can see the how distended or enlarged the ventricles are. And this is because the actual walls have been weakened. So the heart has gotten bigger, but it hasn't gotten stronger. So it's not like when you build muscle in your legs or your arms. When your heart gets too big, it's it's starting to fail. The... the the muscle in the ventricles is getting weaker, and it can't pump blood very very well. So eventually, it's kind of like your heart is drowning in its own blood. So it's caused oh, a heart attack, and I'm sorry that this uh, slide is messed up. Um, okay, but so it's a heart attack. It's caused by the interruption of blood flow to a part of the muscle causing the heart cells to die, and it's usually due to blockage of the coronary arteries. Now, for men, the symptoms could include chest pain, pain in the left arm, which is what most people always think of, uh, pain in the neck, shortness of breath, uh, nausea, palpitations, sweating. Um, all these types of things are for men. For women, it's a little bit different. Women's uh, symptoms are much more vague, which is why women tend to die more of heart attacks is because they don't know they're having a heart attack. So for a woman, it could be something simple as shortness of breath, uh, weakness and fatigue so they don't ever know that they're even having one so you could be having minor ones and not even be aware of it so fetal heart structure so um, as a baby is starting to develop the first their heart starts out as these little tubes that run next to each other you can see that picture a and then uh, in B you can see there it's they kind of combine they kind of start twisting around each other and eventually, and they twist, and they twist, and they twist, until slowly they're forming all these different cavities in the atria form. Then it twists more in the ventricle forms, and they twist more, and you're starting to develop the right and the left. And in the beginning, the foramen ovale is this hole that connects the two atria. And this is because the fetus doesn't have lungs yet, or working lungs, so they don't need their blood to go to their lungs. It's getting oxygen from the mother, so it just goes straight from the right side directly to the left side and then out to the fetus's body. Every once in a while, um, you can have a, a congenital defect in your heart, and one of them could be a ventricular septal defect, meaning that there's a hole right there in the septum. The septum divides the right and left side, the ventricles, and sometimes there's a hole in it. It's about one in every 500 bursts. Uh, one about every 1,500 bursts, you have a narrow aorta. Um, so this can cause the heart to work very hard as it tries to push blood through that tiny opening. It's kind of like a traffic jam. And then you could also have a tetralogy of fallot, which is just multiple defects, such as the pulmonary trunk is too narrow, the pulmonary valve doesn't open and close right, um, there could be uh, multiple defects with the valves, the aorta opens from both ventricles, or the wall of the ventricle is thickened from overwork. So this is a pretty serious, several um, problems are happening with it. As you get older, um, sclerosis and thickening of the valve flaps is a problem, which might require valve replacement. Um, you can have a decline in the cardiac reserve. Uh, fibrosis is hardening of the cardiac muscle itself. And you could also have um, a buildup of plaque or blood clots, which could um, block blood flow, all of which can be minimized through good diet and exercise, which helps clean all that stuff out.